Now, as you guys can see, the name of the cocktail today is called the Velvet Hammer, which I had to absolutely laugh at because that does not, that doesn't sound real. That sounds like a female professional wrestler or some sort of a romance novel. And the Velvet Hammer essentially walked into a sexy room full of sexy people doing sexy things. But with these ingredients that we got involved today, it's going to be absolutely a killer cocktail. We're gonna have some Mr. Black coffee liqueur, a little bit of cognac, and actual hammer will go in this cocktail. No, it's not actually gonna go in this cocktail. I just wanted to use a hammer in this intro. But let's quit fooling around, let's just make the cocktail. So first we got our vanilla cognac here. Um, it's gonna give it a nice, rich, smooth kind of flavor. We're going with three fourths of an ounce of this. Next, we're gonna give it a little bit of that chocolatey goodness with about three fourths of an ounce of our creme de cacao. I am almost out and it makes me sad. Now we gotta spice this up with just a little bit of orange liqueur here. And when I say a little bit, I mean the exact same measurement as the other ones were. So three fourths of an ounce of any orange liqueur that you prefer. Um, Grand Marnier would work really nice in here or Cointreau. So whichever thing you got lying around. Now the next portion you can kind of get creative with, I'm going with Mr. Black coffee liqueur because this is my favorite coffee liqueur out right now. Um, you could also do Tia Maria, uh, Tia Marie, um, or uh, you could do uh, Kahlua, you could do anything that you prefer. Um, this one's just a little bit more bitter, um, not so sweet like Kahlua would be, so we're gonna go three fourths of an ounce of that. Cream, cream, what is that cream? So now, of course, because of the title of this cocktail, we have to make it velvety smooth. So we're gonna go ahead and add one and a half ounces of heavy whipping cream here. Oh, and, oh that's one and a half ounces. Into our glass. Then you go ice, tin, flip. Now that we're done shaking our cocktail, we're gonna go ahead and put it into our rocks-ish glass with our clear ice, and we're just gonna pour over the top. Oh yeah. That is a nice creamy looking brownish color. That looks beautiful. Now with this, I'm guessing you could garnish it up if you want to, maybe some whipped cream on top, a little bit of nutmeg, a little cinnamon, you know, kind of do however you want to do this. But for me, I'm gonna leave it as is because it looks very delicious. I'm gonna put in my beautiful straw here and we have our velvet hammer. That is extremely flavorful. There is just an explosion in my mouth of flavors. You got your coffee, you got your cognac, you got the orange flavor from the orange liqueur which goes amazing with coffee. Then you also have that essence of the cream that kind of just binds it all together and makes it so, so silky smooth or velvety smooth in this case. Please go ahead and make yourself like nine of these velvet hammers and let me know what you guys think. This is absolutely delicious. Like I said, try your own coffee liqueur. Kind of, you know, do what you want and have some fun with this. Uh, if you guys enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit that subscribe button, like this video, and comment away as much as you want. Until then, I'll see you guys in the next video. Cheers. As he sexily approached the cocktail, he wondered to himself, will this be my last? To be continued.